The Query Data Source block allows you to create an explicit query within your AI workflows. This allows you to pull in context from a data source and then use it later on inside your workflows. Let's see how it works. Here I have my project set up with a data source that is our sales handbook. It contains several different files containing information that people on our sales team can use. This AI is going to allow a salesperson to ask it questions and then it's going to provide information from this sales handbook. Next, we have a user input called the user query that asks our end user what they'd like to know from the sales handbook. Inside of our workflow, you'll notice that we have this user input set up, and then we're gonna use that input to query our data source. We can go ahead and in our query, we can just put in the original query from our user. And then we'll need to set a variable name for the returned response. In this case, we're gonna call it query result. Lastly, we're going to use the original user query and the result from querying our data source in order to generate the final text for the AI to respond with. Inside of the generate text block, we'll use the query result as context for our response, and then we'll ask the AI to answer the original question. Now that we have everything set up, let's go ahead and preview our AI. You can see here that we have the user input asking what we'd like to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and ask it a question that pertains to our sales best practices. You can see here that it queries the data source and then creates a response based off of that result. You'll notice that in the debugger on the right, it's querying the data source and returning some text where you can see that result in action. Using an explicit query in your AI workflow is handy when you'd like to reduce the amount of context that you're bringing into your AI workflows. It allows you to store large amounts of information as a data source and then query that data source when necessary. For more in-depth guides around data sources and other blocks, feel free to visit our Learn page and documentation. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.